Robin means business. Hashtag Race Home is presented by Audi, Vorsprung, Dirk Technik, Fanatec, Realistic Simulation Hardware, Sony PlayStation, this is for the players. Speedpool, premium content for premium customers. Uptrend, the lifestyle magazine from Abt Sportsline. Hello and welcome to a brief race home special. We have no race tonight for a simple reason. Our DTM drivers are not at home because they are at the Nürburgring route now for the pre-season test of the DTM. Race home will return next week with the second last round at Fuji in Japan. But we are more than happy that two of our race home drivers are joining us tonight directly from the Nürburgring. Mike Rockefeller, DTM champion 2013 and one of the founders of Race Home. And Nico Müller, runner-up of last year's DTM championship and of course our Race Home leaders with two races to go. Super excited to finally, you know, get this 2020 campaign underway. Uh, couldn't be happier. Before we talk about the DTM, of course, Race Home, we have prepared some pictures from DTM testing. Finally, DTM cars back on track. A lot of fans have been waiting for this. Mike, how was the feeling to go back into a DTM cockpit after such a long time? Well, I have to say um, I, I was really looking forward to it, um, but uh, I can feel my neck. I mean, I did a lot of driving today, a lot of uh, long runs, um, also short runs for quality preparation, but I definitely uh, can feel a, a little bit my neck. I'm a Testing is one thing, but racing is another. So we try to prepare, try to learn the little details about the car, which we already know. Uh, but there's always some margin to improve. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward when we go racing. Apart from the neck, have the feelings been a bit different after such a long time? Um, no, I mean, the last time I drove was uh, in Vallelunga. I think it was already about right. Um, but for sure, you always have a smile when you accelerate, especially si since we changed the engine uh, with, with uh, the four cylinder turbo. But uh, definitely the first few few laps, I was like, wow, this is so cool. And uh, I really enjoyed uh, every lap in the car. Nico, of course, the atmosphere at this test this time is a little bit different. There's no media at the Nürburgring. You have to have distance or keep distance, of course, to the other people. And you have to wear a mask when you are in the rooms or even outside. How is this feeling? Yeah, it definitely feels very special, uh, not to say strange. Um, I think, yeah, we, we are all grateful that thanks to the concept that the manufacturers and ITR have put together that we are allowed to be here all together and test. Uh, you know, obviously, I, uh, it's it has your hands uh, very, very regularly to disinfect your hands and so on. But for me, to have everybody run around with those masks on because we are a team, uh, we're working together with, with human beings to be able to read what they think or uh, what's going on in their mind is, is very difficult because obviously half of their face is covered and uh, it's a strange feeling and it takes a lot of time to get used to. I hope uh, we will not have to get used to it for too long and uh, get back to normality. But uh, for the moment, yeah, we're, we're happy that we can make it work that way. Lap times, of course, are close as usual in DTM between Audi and BMW. What are you expecting for the season after the first impression from testing? It doesn't really show the, the full picture uh, any season. Uh, this season, no different to others. But um, I, I expect a very, very tight, uh, the two manufacturers. I think uh, everybody has done their homework. It will be a very, very tough championship as any year. And um, yeah, you have to be at your very best. 
Mike, the season will be very short and compact. This will be quite stressful for everybody, but I think especially for the mechanics, or isn't it? Yeah, uh, definitely. Um, I think uh, Team Phoenix is uh, in a good location, to be honest, because uh, a lot of races are just around the corner, you can say. But uh, of course, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be tough, but I guess everybody had a long enough break and uh, I think everybody is super motivated to, to get it going and uh, to start the season. So I think there are no complaints at all. We are all looking forward to go back to racing. And I guess you will be looking very much forward to the first race at Spa from Cachon, a track every race driver loves, Mike, isn't it? I mean, I think nobody uh, doesn't like uh, Spa. It's it's uh, it's so great, and uh, I mean, we did some practice already in uh, our hashtag race home. So uh, you know, I'm looking forward to be there in a real car and a DTM car. Um, it's it's a fantastic track. I think it will be super tough for the tires. And, uh, you know, it, it, we don't have a lot of practice there, obviously, ahead uh, of the race. So, yeah, I think uh, it's, it's, it's part of the game and you have to be prepared well. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just uh, enjoying, like I said before, every lap in the car, especially with knowing what's, uh, that this will be our last season with Audi and DTM. Um, uh, even more so, I'm, I'm just looking forward to do every race and uh, Spa is definitely a highlight. Nico, Mike mentioned we did a race home event in Spa. It was the first round of the series. And then remember you were still using the controller at this race. So this was quite difficult, wasn't it? Yeah, that's probably why my brain canceled those memories. Yeah, I, I found out that probably very youth, let's say, I uh, haven't played enough computer games. I really didn't feel comfortable with the controller. Luckily, I managed to, to find a way around it, but yeah. Spa will, will definitely be a highlight. I guess it was a good race also at race home. Maybe not for me, but uh, I can accept that. Mike, as one of the founders of race home, are you content and happy with how the season unfolded? I think uh, I'm, I'm very happy. Um, uh, at the beginning, for sure, we had to learn a lot. Uh, as we, we started is this thing with a very short notice, you can say. And the idea came up, and uh, as as you know, uh, you and me, we, you know, we had to speed up. And uh, I think uh, at the end now, especially the last event, um, you know, we had good racing, interesting guests in the in the races uh, taking part. Um, when you see all the designs which were made by the fans uh, and and people which were interested in in this championship, so overall, it it has been a success. Of course, we were. Uh, you know, wishing and hoping for more money we could raise. But uh, still, I think it's a good, we had a good time. And uh, I think people really like the pictures uh, from our racing. And uh, I'm, I'm still enjoying, you know, everyone. And uh, next week we have the next one. So all good. You have so many third palaces now in the championship. Any chance to win a race? One of the last two ones? Um, uh, it doesn't look like somehow. Uh, I, tr I try to keep those, uh, you know, top two spots for the for the DTM this year. <laughs> Nico, the only driver who can beat you in race home is your teammate Robin. How will this happen in the next two races? It will not. <laughs> that's the answer. But um, <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, I've managed to kind of be at uh, in the right place for the last few rounds and always kind of make it through. And uh, the format of of the championship kind of forces you to. You know, to do that because the races are so compact that sometimes it's not pure pace. I think that worked out pretty well for me so far, but it can turn around very quickly. I mean, uh, Robin is still uh, with with a chance to to catch me, but um, I'll do my best to score some more good points uh, in the last two rounds to to secure the title. The race will happen at Fuji in the Virtual Fuji Speedway in Japan, where the DTM has been racing with Super GT at the end of last season. Mike was there. Nico was not there, but he was there with the RCCO Esports Series a couple of weeks ago, and he took two commanding victories there. And the RCCO Esports Series was having a race yesterday again. Here we have some pictures. A reverse grid for the qualifying race, and Matthias Franzen and Frank Vilka leading at the start. Björn Skotka looking very fast. Closing in on Matthias Franzen, but he can't quite get him. 
Matthias Franson then takes his first win, even if it is only a qualifying race. The famous PlayStation start bug causes a start crash and therefore a restart. Matthias Franson leading Scotty at the start then as we get the restart underway. Championship leader Mikael Nima still struggling with his equipment going off here at turn number two. And at the start of lap two, Scotty makes his decisive moves and takes the lead from Matthias Franson. Mikael Nimas helped by Frank Vilka and Matthias Franson goes off in turn two at the same time. Franson recovers to P2 and even reaches Scotty with two laps to go but can't pass him. This is the first win for Bjorn Skotka. Well done, Scotty. It's hero to zero for race one winner, Scotty. He has the start bug and stalls at the start and therefore is out of the race. So, turn number one, Thomas Vogt taking the lead from Frank Vilka with a brilliant round the move pass and finds himself in the lead. From there on in, it's overtake after overtake and Mikhail Nemas in the action. Thomas Vogt being relegated to P2 as Mikhail Nemas picks up the lead. Stefan Vashau is P3. It's what makes these races so compelling. On board with Stefan Vashau, who's carrying so much speed. Almost inevitable that that slingshot move was not going to work. The fights will continue. And sometimes they become very fraught indeed. Thomas Vogt holding on to the lead at the moment as they go three abreast and he loses out to Mikhail Nemas, who himself then loses out. And Thomas Vogt then in all sorts of strife as he rally crosses across the grass. Both Nemas and Vashau pit at the same time. Then Thomas Vogt holds them up because he's on older tyres before pitting himself. Now the fight is on between Vashau and Mikhail Nemas. Franson clatters the armco on his way out of the pits, but is able to catch Nemas and grab P2 from the championship leader. Vashau takes his first win. It's P4 for Folk after his best race for quite a while. Okay, this was yesterday's round of the RCCO eSports series when some of those drivers you will see again next week in the Race Home event. Usual time, Tuesday, 8 p.m. Nico, will you win the title? I hope so, that's the target. Uh, I didn't make the math yet, but uh, to do so if I beat Robin, so all eyes on that. And Mike, race win. Yeah, of course, I have nothing to lose. Uh, I think Nico Nico takes it a bit easy to secure the title uh, just behind me on P2. Okay, thank you very much for spending this time with us. We know very much how tight the schedule and DTM testing is. So, have two more good days at the Nürburgring and see you again on the Virtual Racetrack next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.